Oh, hey there, folks. You just caught me smack dab in the middle of an ancient body conditioning exercise called vibrational bone meddling. Is it a real thing? I'll let you be the judge. Welcome back to another episode of the Monarch Journal. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's episode, we'll be uncovering what it means to go beyond resiliency and into the world of anti-fragility. Together, we'll find out how we can use this innovative principle to take our lives to the next level, both metaphorically and literally. Come, let's dive in. Wow, what a crazy flash fog that seemingly came out of nowhere. What a freaking miracle. You see, one of the beautiful things about life is that we sometimes have options. So what are your options? Well, a fragile person is a person that breaks under the stresses of life. A resilient person is someone who stands strong in the face of adversity, but doesn't necessarily benefit from that adversity. An anti-fragile person does something exceptionally special. They get stronger in the face of adversity. You see, there are examples of anti-fragility in the natural world all around us, but the perfect one might just be the human body, specifically when it comes to muscle growth. You see, when we work our muscles, we break them down, and eventually they rebuild back stronger. What a beautiful system. But how do we practically apply anti-fragility into our everyday lives? Soaking up that vitamin D. Give it to me. But like so many things in life, anti-fragility begins with the body and mind. You see, the foundation to an anti-fragile life is keeping your mind and body in tip-top shape. This means regular intentional movement with a mix of strength, endurance, diet, and meditation. You see, the thing is, without our mental and physical health, Nothing else matters, and we can't take our lives to the next level. It's important to understand how essential the body and mind are, and prioritize it above everything else. So if you think about it, us humans are constantly faced with opportunities, challenges, and forks in the damn road. Oftentimes, these obstacles they're sprung upon us at less than opportune moments. What really matters is how we handle these trying times and how we use the limited resources at our disposal to make things happen. You see, an anti-fragile person is able to do a lot with a little and uses creativity, ingenuity, and pure grit to get the job done. You see, this resourcefulness might just be the most valuable skill on your life's resume. Let me introduce you to the barbell strategy. And no, it has nothing to do with hitting your PR at the local gym. It has to do with risk taking. You see, the concept suggests that an anti-fragile approach to risk taking involves playing it safe in certain areas and risking it in others. Here's an example. Let's say you have dreams to become an entrepreneur. When you're first starting out, the barbell strategy will tell us to keep our low-risk day job that pays the bills and pursue your high-risk entrepreneurial ventures on the weekend, which could eventually lead to high reward. Are you ready to stack on the weight? So one of the pillars to an anti-fragile life involves exclusion, not inclusion of habits. This means eliminating potentially unhealthy habits from your life. Can include things like quitting smoking, eliminating your bad debt, or in my case, just not moving at all. 
You see, when it comes to anti-fragility, simplicity does truly reign supreme. Well, well, folks, there we have it. We now have the essential tools to go beyond resiliency and into the world of unstoppable anti-fragility. Now the rest from here on out, well, it's in your precious hands. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of the Monarch Journal. We'll see you on the next one. Happy journeys.